Hello again. It's a beautiful day here. I hope it's a beautiful day wherever you're at. I'd like to start off by thanking all my viewers and subscribers, and I really do appreciate all the comments you made. And I always try to get back with you as soon as I possibly can. What I got going on today is a pre-stretched canvas, like always, 16 by 20. I went to your local hardware. I got spray paint, sprayed different tones and hues. Make sure you're in a well-ventilated area and you have a mask on. After that all dried, I loaded it up with a thin coat of liquid clear, and that's going to help the oils go on a lot smoother. You'll notice that if you missed a spot, your oils will start dragging when you go to put the oils on. So you want to make sure you cover the whole thing with a thin coat of liquid clear. And any colors and any information you'll need to paint along with me will come across the screen somewhere right about here. Today what I thought I would do is a distant mountains, maybe a desert. I did one desert, same, but this one here is going to be a little bit toned down, maybe more flowers in it. So maybe it's going to have a little path coming through. So that's where I'm at so far. So let's get started. Let's get started with some sky. I use a couple little fan brushes just like this here. Usually works really, really well. So we can get some sky going here. Maybe pink. We're going to use glycerin crimson and titanium white or liquid white. Maybe get an orange sky with some yellow, cadmium yellow. Yellow. Orange. Get an orange color going. Maybe that's the way it would look there. Maybe at sunset in the desert. Just like that. Determine where you want your light source to come from. Maybe ours is right here. Maybe it's off to the side here. just like that. Now we'll get into that other fan brush with just white. Just load it up. Come right in here. that go more white back in that in that area. Now we'll take our trusty fan brush or blender brush. It's real soft. We'll come in and tap this underneath here all the way across. Gives it that soft softness. Then you can fluff it up into the oranges. Circular motions all the way. All the way, just like that. We'll come back into some more of that orange and darken that up some. back in with the white. Then the blender brush. Clean it up. Cleaning that off some as best as we can. Come back in to that white. Then blend it. Blend it in. Using the corner of the brush. You set 
said that was going to be a scene of the desert. Maybe the maybe the sun is setting. More white. All the way across. All the way. Corner of the brush. Blending it right in with that orange colors. kinds of things happening out there. And it all comes down here. Soften it all the way down. Maybe one of the mountains will be back here. that just like that. We'll just brighten that up with some of that weight. Circular motions. That's good. I'll come in and we'll clean this brush off. Get that blender brush. Not the excess. Dry it off. Now. I use odorless paint thinner. That's always a good thing. Cleaning the fan brushes off. Before we come in to our furthest mountain, we're going to take this palette knife here. Who knows, we'll come into some blue colors or gray, purple, a light purple. Distant blue, gray, purple. A little roll of pink. Maybe this one is back over here, off center. doing is taking a corner and coming across a little scraping scraping right here this color is uh Wizard and crimson fatal blue and some white Titanium white, liquid white. Maybe it goes all the way across. Maybe 
Maybe this part comes down here. Maybe this one comes over here. It's one of those distant, distant moments. Just keep loading it up. Getting a little roll of paint right off that. that we use to put the liquid clear on. This one here, we come in and blend it. Blend it down however you think. Get all kinds of pulling it different ways. Get some different textures, wipe some of that off. Keep pulling from there. And it lightens it up. And that's what you're looking for. Lightening. Just making it lighter. That kind of looks good right there. So I'm going to come into the blender brush. I'm going to mist this down here right now. And we're going to mist it again in a bit. But I like that misty look. one's not got a whole lot of nothing going on. Not a whole lot of blending because it's so far back. But what I'm going to do is touch up this. Touch that up. It's a little kind of like that, just like that. it misty. We'll come down and we'll put some land here. Maybe put another mountain over here, but a brown, a brown mountain like the kind you might see in the desert. I'm going to use Van Dyke Brown, but what we did was we mixed up sap green and alizarin crimson, and that gave us the brown color. What we're going to do now is marble this like that. See all the colors on there? I believe that all marble. And we're going to come in and we're going to start putting the mountain. Maybe our mountain is yeah, starts right here. Right down. And maybe it goes up. that in there and leave it marbled. Just like that. More white. 
pull it down, get that marbly look. Pull that straight down, just like that. All those things happening right on the palette knife. indentations and some white in here. Soften that up. some white and a little bit of that brown just like what you do with the mountain different shades, little little things coming out here where there's some rocks, little rock formation. Just pull it down. Maybe come in here and highlight some of that right on that corner. Right on this edge here. this down here. Use the blender brush. Tell you what we'll do, we'll use this brush first, we'll pull some down. Much like we did the mountain. Pulling it down. that look and we'll 
soften that up. Clean that brush off. We'll come in and we'll use the blender brush down here. And just missed it. Kind of missed it all the way up. Pay attention to the lay of the mountain, the angles. Because you want that still to be there. You want that to be misty. It almost gives it a look of a shadow. shadowy shadow feel to it. Put that off. Come in and we'll tap some more. Kind of blend that. lighter even and it goes darker right in here. Got all kinds of crevices and things happening in that mountain. Now we can come into some green color. Maybe we'll have our path coming in through here. We'll have some green on this side. We're going to go on to sap green, midnight black, Liquid Clear and Van Dyke Brown. Get a dark, a dark green color. Liquid Clear thins it out. like that. Maybe we'll come in and we'll start maybe a little something off in the distance here. Comes right down to where maybe maybe our path would be. using this brush you get like a an effect of grassy grassy area all I'm doing is tapping it could get lighter there I'm just barely tapping and just Blending it in. All the way. We all got that happening already. Just by using this little brush. This little fan brush. Maybe we can have it have something come down here closer. darker. Just tapping again. Gives it another another layer, another thing happening. Darker. Maybe maybe we'll have some things coming down here. Coming 
down from the hill where it grew up on the hill up, making it look like there's little grassy areas. I'm right along that base. happiness. Getting that, that rough. That look of something going on back here. Still tapping. Just went into a darker color because you want it to be darker towards the, the shadow area here. down further. What I'm doing is tapping and bringing it down further, making it wider. Making it wider towards the base here. the little protrusions and make it as wide as you want. Maybe this can come down further. Maybe we'll darken that up. Maybe that can come down right in front. Just like that. Looks like a last trail to me. Now maybe we could put a rock formation down here. Let's do something back in there with some color. Let's make some yellow. Some yellow things happening. Just yellow. fan brush. Maybe yellow and some liquid white. Get some highlights, some color going. Maybe some little flowers. Just like that. 
be right in here we could have some. Here, and there's some little flowers growing. All the way back there. Here and there, they're just like popping up all over. Coming down right to the trail. Got a little bush, little bushes back there. We'll come into a small brush here. We'll make some flowers. good to me. Got some pink over there. Back off in the distance. some yellow. We'll put some back in through here, I think. Now we'll get some orange since we got the orange sky. 
got to have some orange. Just keep loading it up just like that. Maybe we got some backing through here. that up a little bit. Here and there. Who knows? Maybe that's enough over there. Maybe we'll put some up in here. like that. A little color flow. Now we'll come in with some brown and the palette knife. All that mixture and we'll come in with a trail in through here. through that lightness. That lightness, darkness. We'll blend that in. We'll blend that in in a minute. And we want this to come down darker. like that. We'll come in to the blender brush. Tap this. Pull it. Blend it. Want to get all that. All that happening. that last trail look. Pulling it towards that middle. Making it look like sandy trail and this was pulled in. Pulled in on that dip. We'll get the we'll get the other brush. We'll pull that in more. Get this one right here. Closer to the flowers. Blend that right in. Pull 
that right down almost where there's a indentation in there. Maybe from the traveling. since this is where the mountain is. And it's that easy for some shadows. that little light in there kind of adds kind of gives it that little shiny sheeny that marbled. Maybe come in here. Just like that. Maybe when we come down here.
won't be too much over there because of the light hitting. Maybe more so over here, I think. Or on this side. gives you that marbly effect. Kind of blends right in. And all that stuff happening. Make it dark over here. stony things and shadowy things and the same thing over here I kind of like that I kind of like how that worked out and some more more lizard and crimson to get that brown. And you keep mixing it and it blends right in. You get that brown look. Just like that. that in, pull it, and let it, let it come right off. Get that dark. Get that dark stuff happening. Okay, you can almost take some of that orange Bring it down here in the sand. In the sand.
coming from the sky. That looks good just like that. Now we'll come in and we'll put a little little peninsula here. I'll tell you what. Let's do some cactuses. Let's do some small little cactuses. Take this little brush like this here. And we'll come into some dark dark brown. The colors we used. Load it right up. Just like that. Maybe maybe there's a cactus coming right down here. There's a little one here. Maybe there's something happening right here. It's a liquid clear. Maybe we got big one right here. There is now. Maybe he's got a little arm right here. Maybe another one down here, further. Maybe there's, oh no, I'm going to leave it just like that for now. Leave that just like that and come into some grassy areas down here. Well, a little something happening here. Not big though. Take this brush here. 
and we'll tap some things up. Some brush. That, just like that. Come in here and tap some things up. brush that green on there and we'll pull up the grassy areas and stuff here and there some of that brown color to highlight the trees or the cactuses with the brown with the light brown load it right up just like that and we'll come in we'll take the corner of it and just tap it here we'll just pull it around Staying on there pretty good. So what I'm doing is just tapping it first. Get that line. some of that color right off that brush and come in and tap.
Now it's coming around. Now I'm just tapping it. That's where you think the shadows would be. Then we'll come down in here. Barely. Now we'll come in. Put some flowers in here. some of that orange color going since we got the orange hitting down here hold that same brush up come tap in some color I like that Soften it. Soften the edge. Make it look like a little bit of grassy areas are coming out. Almost like it blends in right there. Now, the only thing left is to put a, we can put a bird up there. I always like to put in eagles. Bald eagles, always flying around. Bald eagle, just on a liner brush. Maybe we'll put it over here. Could be a vulture. Who knows? <laughs> well, let's sit back and see what we got going on here. Any kind of changes we might want to make. Uh, just the way it is. To come into some light color. To assign the name. Maybe some light brown. Beige. They go good down here.
I like signing mine with my last name. Some people like to use their initials. It's whatever you prefer. And I also like to put the year in. The year it was painted. Let you know your progression and what you were thinking at the time. Well, I hope you enjoyed this desert scene. It was the second one I've done. I've done a little bit different than... I hope you're painting along with me and I hope you come back. Bye.